Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day today. And this ball field is really bad. Look at the erosion right here. I mean, it is super duper bad. We've had ridiculous rainfalls. And look at that rut it washed out. And I've got ruts all over there. You can tell this field hadn't been used in a while. Look at all these weeds right here. It's just, it's in really, really bad shape. Now, you know, I was looking for a way to expand my business. And so what we've done is we've started to go after athletic fields and baseball fields, athletic parks, high schools, middle schools, you name it. Anywhere that has a baseball field, football field, or a soccer field, or any other type of field you can think of. We got a Toro Multi Pro to take care of the turf, and I got something new to take care of the infield. So let me show it to you. Well, there you go. This is my new ABI Force. So basically, it's a dedicated infield maintenance machine. It's got multiple configurations, meaning so many different attachments you can put on the back, so many you can put under the belly, things that hang off the side of it, the front of it, all kinds of different ways you can configure the machine for different applications or maybe for different playing surfaces. There's just so many different ways you can set the machine up. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I'm, I'm an equipment guy. I love equipment, love things with hydraulics and motors. God's been very good to me and blessed me uh, with a strong income to be able to get things like this. Now, here's a secret on this machine. I didn't pay a dime for it. Well, what do you mean you didn't pay a dime for it? I mean, I didn't pay a dime for it. I didn't pay anything with my money to get this machine right here. So you know I got GCI Turf Academy going on where I'm teaching the DIY guys how to have a nice yard. Well, GCI Turf Academy Pro is in the works. And what that's going to be is more directed to the business owner, whether it be lawn care maintenance or spraying turf, you know, the applications and treatments. And I'm going to kind of give you my two cents on what I did and how I got to where I'm at. Now, back to the free ABI force. I know what you're thinking. Well, yeah. That guy, he makes YouTube videos and he probably called them up and they sent him one for free so he could ride around on baseball fields and advertise it for them so they'd sell more units. Well, you're wrong. That's not how I got it for free. I got it for free from good old fashioned hard work, being diligent with my money that God has blessed me with and being smart with it. And when we get to GCI Turf Academy Pro, I'll show you pro guys just how I did it. And just so it's clear, I actually paid for the thing it just wasn't my money that i paid for it with does that make sense that's how i get it didn't cost me a dime all right so this right here is kind of a profile blade you can see it goes straight all the way across uh this is one of the original blades they've got a new set of uh blades i'll show you that later but for what i'm doing today i think this is going to work the best i'm actually going to use this blade as a weed eater or a weed puller now what i'm going to do is just barely put it in the ground and let it skim across the top of the ground and hopefully i can cut those up obviously it's not going to do that but it will remove the material so that i can work the field now i'm going to use my drag back here to kind of collect it drag it over to a corner of the field and get rid of it Now, one thing I had to do is I took the profile blade off and put these ripping teeth on here. Look at this thing, man. Good gracious alive. Look at that. Because this ground right here is absolutely hard as a rock. And the uh, profile blade just wouldn't break it up. Now, I've got to drag all of that out there and got to pull it back this way and use it because it's all just kind of washed downhill. Alright, 
So now that I've got it broken up pretty good, you can see just how loose that right there is. So I'm just gonna adjust my pitch a little bit now. I'm still gonna be digging a little bit and kinda, kinda loosening it up. And at the same time, I'm gonna put my cone down, let it engage the ground. And what'll happen is I'll drag stuff from the high spots and put it in the low spots. All right, now this is part of the learning curve with this machine is I've got a little miniature box blade over here. I'm gonna go throw it on because that would probably speed up the process of what I'm doing. I'm somewhat dragging uh, uh, dirt over here and filling this in, but it's just not quite fast enough for what I want to do. Uh, you can see the sun is going down. So I'm gonna put the box blade on here and speed up the process. All right, you can see right here, the box blade just attaches to the comb. Now we got the tooth bar on here as well to kind of help uh, continually break up break it up before the box blade catches it i just made one little pass right here and look at all that i put in there for one pass so pretty good that should save me quite a bit of time All right, so a late night last night was out here for a while and you can see the field's looking a lot better now. It was in terrible condition. This, this, this one was pretty bad, but we've just about got it uh, playable again. Uh, I've got a little bit of a hump right here I need to put over on the third baseline and then I'm gonna change attachments and put the Vibroflex on it. And we're gonna kind of detail it out and see what happens. can't really tell on the camera, but the entire field slopes first baseline to third baseline. It all falls that way. This field isn't a flat field. It's on a slope. Uh, it just is. So I do think we're considerably better. The kids can actually play on it now. I'm gonna take the Vibroflex, which is kind of a series of teeth. It's a lot of them up under this pan right here. And it's just gonna kind of air it out and smooth it up a little bit more. You can kind of see how all this is put together. It's a really cool design. It actually lets the material flow through. It'll do some slight leveling here and there, but for the most part, it's for a finished look. So there you go. Uh, I realize it's not absolutely perfect. It's kind of part of the learning curve with this machine. It's kind of a specialized, dedicated machine for infield work. It's, you got to learn the machine. It's a little bit different than operating other machines, but it's, it's pretty simple. It's just gonna take a little time to learn how to run it. That brings up a good point. Now, I've, I don't want a backhoe or a motor grader or a track hoe or anything like that, but, but I'm, I'm very uh, fluid with them. Uh, I can actually go rent one and take it to a job site and use it and charge for that service and be very comfortable with it. I'm not in that uh, mindset right now with this machine. I, I'm not comfortable to go take it to a high-end ballpark and, and charge a premium price and uh, go to bed at night and rest uh, peacefully. I just, I'm just not there yet. So I'm gonna be practicing on fields kind of like this, uh, maybe some middle school infields, no charge. I'm just gonna contact them, say, hey, is 
it's at odds if I work your infield and uh, just to learn the machine and practice and when I feel like I'm good enough on it then we'll start going after some big time stuff you can see right here that big old rut we had is gone all the ruts over there that we have is gone uh, I had a big old hump between the pitcher's mound and home plate I've cut that hump down and pulled a lot of that over here and then where all of it washed in that corner I brought it back up this way all right, so let me go ahead and answer the question before you ask it, because I know you're going to ask it. Pete, don't you have a Ventrac? Pete, did you realize Ventrac makes a ball field grooming attachment? Well, of course I know. I know about every single attachment Ventrac makes, and I have plans to get the majority of them over time. I wanted a dedicated one machine infield groomer small compact i can put in a small enclosed trailer and hop around from field to field well pete can't you do that with a ventrac well of course you can but there's one thing that sold me on this machine you see this pole right here i have a laser grading system that slides into this pole and you set a transit over to the side and you can laser grade an infield meaning you can set your numbers, get, get all your grade, get your numbers right, uh, set up the machine, start riding and start moving material, and the machine will do all the work for you. It will raise and lower the head unit down here and cut off the high spots and fill in the low spots according to the way you, you know, set your measurements. So it will get a ball field absolutely perfect that's what i was after i want to be set apart uh it's to my knowledge i don't know of any other company anywhere around me that has a laser grading system especially a abi laser grading system so now once i get good and get comfortable on the machine that'll be my marketing strategy is hey i can laser grade your infield and get it absolutely perfect and of course, there's another cool deal. What about renovations, right? Uh, depending on where it's at, depending on how flat the place is, uh, I can now offer laser grading renovations, meaning a perfectly flat yard. Or if they're having trouble with gr uh, drainage and things like that, I can use that laser grading system and I know for a fact I'll have the perfect amount of fall. So that's my answer before you ask the question. As always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and share, and tell all your buddies, and plan to see quite a few videos on this ABI force. Check you later.